Look, there's going to be a run on the banks. I'm calling it first. I'm calling it here now. If you have more than $250,000 in your bank, and the reason I say that is because there's 250 k FDIC insured. If you have more than that in your bank, it's going to get lost. Depending on the bank, I mean, uh, small banks are more at risk. But right now, it is real. It's realer than you guys think. I'm not trying to cause panic or fear, but you could literally listen to Jan Janet Yellen at the congressional hearing say this, that small banks are at risk. This is not coming from me. This is like common knowledge at this point if you're studying macroeconomics. Guys, here's my personal take. There's literally nothing except for treasury yields that you could buy right now. Nothing. Like real estate's going down, gold's going down, Bitcoin's going down. Treasury yields will give you like a 4%. That's trash. So really, look, I'm jumping into DeFi. Look, some people are going to say they're crypto people. Some people are actually going to be crypto people. DeFi still gives you yield. USDC is not going down. Stable coins will stay. USDC might be the world reserve stable coin from the United States. I'm banking on that. Maybe. I don't know. I'm very confident, though. <clears throat> There's all types of yields to be made in cryptocurrency. And I do believe there's going to be a major transfer of wealth. Now, I'm not saying I'm buying cryptos. That's not what I'm saying when I say I want to use the DeFi protocols. I'm talking about gaining yield. If you want to gain 3% on a treasury bond, do it. Go ahead. Uh, 3% APY. That's amazing. Um, you know, that's not really going to do anything for you. But with DeFi yield, using layer twos, you could spend 22 cents on a transaction and get 50% APY per year. I've seen multiple times and as I research and un uncover more, I'm freaking out. Like if you look at everything in the world right now, there's nothing that compares. Now I know there's a whole bunch of panic and fear because the FTX exchange went down. Everybody's freaking out because their stable coin lost this peg. But if you can quantify the risk, if you've been in crypto for a while and you know what's up, like, you know, what's up, like, okay, you know, um, Luna was, uh, was, was relatively new. It was like a scam. Um, you can look at on chain. You can see that their their stable coin was going to fall uh, before it, it happened. Um, so if you could just really dial into Web three, right? Like again, let me say it again. I want to say it again. I saw a video today. Um, I forgot that guy's name. We just bro. The, all the influencers are getting sued, right? I was able to navigate through that. I was able to navigate through that. Now I'm not getting sued. Um, I never, and the, re, the main reason is because of my skill set. I'm not perfect, but I really relied on my trading a lot. Um, hence, fundamental secrets and teaching people my, my actual fundamental analysis. But yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, I never promoted, I promote, let me not say that, I promoted some exchanges in the past, like Coinbase. Um, I have a really viral video uh, talking about Coinbase. But I tend to stay away from the affiliate marketing. And there's nothing wrong with affiliate marketing. If you pick the right company, I don't think there's anything wrong with it. I think the lawsuit's BS. They're, they're suing like, it's like a billion dollars. The SEC's uh, suing like five major influencers like Graham Stephan, Meet Kevin, BitBoy Crypto, um, and some others, like some big YouTubers are all getting sued uh, by the SEC for X FTX exchange. You know, but, but like a lot of people rely on that income. They get really greedy uh, and that's all they want. They just get brand sponsorships and brand deals. There's nothing wrong with that, um, you know, if you do your due diligence, but you're success susceptible to things like that, right? So personally, I like to derive my income off of getting results for people, helping people achieve financial independence through crypto. Now, I'm going to be real with you. Unless you got like 50 to 100 grand, you probably can't achieve financial independence right now in the bear market unless you're some type of wizard and you can get more than 10% because 10% on fi 50 grand is $5,000. So realistically, 5 to 10%. Um, per month is uh, what I'm shooting for. I'm shooting for 15%, but five to 10% is probably realistic to pull off uh, with yield. Um, and right now, if you have a 401k, if you have any money in stocks, I mean, unless you're willing to lose 40, 50%, you have nowhere else to put it. You have literally nowhere else to put it. If you're gonna put in a treasury yield, like you could do that if you want. Like if you don't wanna look at it, that's fine. But that's pretty much what everybody's doing. If it's in a bank, you're screwed. If you're in stocks, you're screwed. If you have a cryptocurrency and you're holding it and you just don't want to sell it, you're screwed. So it's like, if you buy gold, it's like close to all time high, you're screwed. Um, if you have real estate and you put your money in real estate, you're screwed. So it's like, man, 
DeFi yield is about to, I, I genuinely think there's going to be a massive, just so many people are going to realize what I'm, what I'm telling you right now. And I'm calling it way up, up before it happens. People are going to just get wrecked so bad and the banks are going to come down. That's what it looks like it's going to happen. Uh, the Federal Reserve is going to continue to uh, tighten, um, uh, tighten the, the, the money supply. They're burning money right now. So like they're doing the opposite of printing. They're burning money, right? So they're going to continue to do that. More banks are going to go down because inflation has not been solved yet. And as these banks go down, people are going to question. They're going to be like, yo, like what about like alternative banking? Like what is crypto? What is DeFi? What are these DeFi uh, uh, financial tools? Like what, what are these? What is USDC? They're going to start asking these questions. And when they do, they're going to start using them and trading on them. And that turns into fees and the fees turn into yield and the yield turns into passive income for you. So in my personal opinion, Right now, it's never been a better time to get extremely risky. Now, you can get risky with good risk management. So don't be an idiot and put your whole entire bag on, on an altcoin with a $10 million market cap. But I will say that you could short the market with DeFi. You can get yield in the market with DeFi with stable coins. There's a lot of ways to make money without just buying and holding in, in the DeFi space a lot. A lot of ways, like a really, like a lot. And, and that's what I want to uncover on this channel. So I just want to let you guys know my strategy moving forward. What's going on in the world? Like there's people literally still thinking it's the bull run. Like it blows my mind. Like it really does blow my mind. I, I'll be honest with you. Like I, I have a hard time believing it. It's almost like it's a, they're bots. Like, and I don't know for sure. Like, I don't want to speak bad on anybody's name. They could have just be completely deceived and I feel bad. And then, you know, I hope you could do some more research and really look into what's going on. But I don't see any other way to make significant revenue right now, at least five to 10% a, a month. And like, I mean, look, I'm doing other things too, right? Like another area you could jump into, which I'll be talking about on my other YouTube channel is YouTube advertising revenue. So I do believe uh, companies are gonna pay more for advertising right now because, look, I'm trying to find a business model that survives the recession. If you guys like that, leave a comment below. I'll talk about more business model stuff, but. My business model is having a hard time in the recession, just to be clear. Like coaching is not, it's like people don't want to pay for coaching unless they're making money, unfortunately, which doesn't make sense. They should pay for coaching when they're not making money, but it doesn't matter because you can diversify your options. And what I've been doing is I've been jumping into, you know, making potentially more YouTube channels, talking about more stuff, like things that I'm interested in, like my health and business and, and marketing stuff on my other channel and then getting a, 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 a passive income from the YouTube advertising revenue. Because YouTube ads are never gonna go away. The, people always need ads. People need ads. If anything, they're gonna probably buy ads and pay more money considering the fact that, excuse me, they're gonna pay more money considering the fact that they're losing so much money. They're gonna try to uh, drop more budget on the paid advertising campaigns and things of that nature. So I don't think YouTube's ads is going anywhere. Um, and I think that there's other social medias that you could you can get revenue on like Instagram and TikTok. And I think it could add up to pretty large lump sums. Like at one point I was making 10, 15K a month um, off of YouTube videos. Um, and you know, I, I, I've taught people how to develop followings. Uh, I have a, a pretty good track record of teaching people how to you know, get a following on, on, on you know, social media. So that's another area I'm jumping into. What I, just my plan moving forward, is really social media revenue, uh, becoming an influencer, and you know I'm already an influencer, but like really honing in on that and and, and you know maturing in it, uh, as well as DeFi yield. That's the only thing I see that's going to help me survive the bear market because marketing and paid advertising is going to be throughout the entire. They're calling it the guys. You don't even get it. They're calling it the Great Recession or the Great Depression, bro. It's real, and if you don't prepare now, I don't know what to tell you. Um, my brother is talking about freight companies. Like we're, we're looking at business models that are going to survive the bear market. So I could even, you know, maybe we could do some videos with my brother where he talks about him building uh, an actual uh, box trucking. I don't know if he's going to do it for real, but box trucking, things that, like that, like it's like, okay, the economy is in, in, in shambles. People need to still get groceries at the, the grocery store, you know, and um, the trucking is never going to go anywhere. It's like, you know, definitely one of those things where never go anywhere. Even, and it actually gets more scarce in the, in the bear market, in the recession. So things of that nature, like who remembers in uh, 2020 when toilet paper was uh, worth a, a, like $40 a roll or something like that. People were arbitraging that. People were buying it for the low in China or they had a whole bunch and then selling it. Can you make money like that? 
Are you going to stick to what you always known and get wrecked? Or are you going to adapt in these times? Like this is a never been a better time to pick up a second job. It's never been a better time to rent out your car on Toro. It's never been a better time to go do Postmates or Uber Eats and make a little bit of extra money so that you can buy the dip. And that's what I'm going to do as a business owner. And I'm going to show you guys in real time, like the original proposition of this channel. I'm going to show you everything I'm doing, uh, but I don't really see anything in crypto except for DeFi. That's the only way to make money in crypto right now. Everybody else just capping, bro. They're capping and, and they need to sh show it to me. They can come on the channel. I don't care who we need to talk to, um, but I don't believe that these guys are making money. They're not making money because I've stressed every option. And the only thing that's really looking good is shorting the market. I've been consistent. I've been shorting the market, making money off of that, as well as uh, DeFi yield and shorting the market, which by the way, with one lump sum of money, you could actually short the market and get yield at the same time with the same pot of money if you use it right. So these are the type of methods I want to talk about my channel moving forward because I want to be realistic and I want to actually make money. Like I, that's always been the proposition. Like I, I don't want to just talk about news. Like I will talk about news because it's relevant and we have to talk about it. But like if, if you guys are not like gaining real value, then I'm doing this for the wrong reason. And this is why I slowed down my YouTube videos, getting my life right. You know, uh, I did have to let, lay, let go of some staff uh, because of the recession. Everybody's restructuring their companies for the recession, guys. For the bear market this is the way it goes my mom works at amex and they said they made the biggest dramatic change in the entire amex company that she, she's been there for like 30 years she's never seen anything like it so everyone's preparing for the the recession bear market great depression whatever you want to call it what are you doing that's the question what are you doing right now it's 11 30 12 o'clock at night for me and i'm trying to provide you guys with value so you can get up off your butt and make something happen um, but yeah, if you're new here, subscribe to the channel. That's it for this video. If you like the quality of this content, hit like. If you don't, leave some constructive criticism. Subscribe for more video updates. And like I always say, if you don't get with it, you will get left behind. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Catch you in the next one.